Mark Chesford away, how have preparations been for the game? Yeah, we've had a good week's uh, training. We're obviously disappointed after last Saturday's result, um, a game which wasn't too much in the game, but um, we need to show a little bit more quality in possession. So we've, we've been working hard every week, as we always do, looking to try and refine and improve. Um, challenge don't come much bigger than, than Chesterfield away. Again, a, another team which is riding high, and rightly so. Um, an array of great players. Um, and, but it's a, a game we're very much looking forward to. It's going to be a great atmosphere, probably a, 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 good, a good surface. So these are the games that you, you want to be playing in. Of course, the last game we played was an FA Trophy game, but with, the, with us bowing out of the, the Cup game now, it gives us a chance to focus on the league. Yeah, it's full focus on the league now, like bitterly disappointed, but that's gone now. It's just how we react. Um, you know, what a good game to try and react in. Um, you know, we're going to be fully tested. We're going to have to be our absolute best, no doubt about it. But um, like I said, we're looking to really rise to this challenge. Of course, we continue with a bit of good news this week. Ryan Glover's loan deal is extended to the end of the season. Yeah, Ryan's done really well. I think he's really brought into what this football club's about. I think he's really enjoyed the experience. And, and I think he was really, really grateful to, to stay here as well. And we're very grateful for Bournemouth for trusting us with one of their one of their assets. And um, yeah, I think he's, he's gained a lot out of the experience and we've certainly gained a lot from having him as well. So we're, we're delighted to keep him to the end of the season. Of course, almost a new player of sorts. Is Alfie Saunders returning from suspension as well? Yeah, Alfie, he's uh, unfortunately had that three-game ban and then was obviously cup-tied. So that, that was an extended period on the, on the sideline. So again, that adds even more competition to the, to the squad. Um, we've certainly got a few more bodies around us now. Some are starting to build up their minutes. They're getting more game time, getting it around the squad. So we've always got to be careful that um, we don't go too hard too soon with some of them coming back from, from long-term injuries. But we are starting to build quite a few up now, which is, which is great optimism for the future. And of course, looking at Chesterfield, obviously they're one of the ones fighting for promotion at the minute. They would have been shocked by the defeat the, uh, on the Tuesday, but they were looking to bounce back, no doubt. Yeah, I think everyone was probably quite surprised because they are such a strong side. Um, plenty of dangers, um, but you know, we can't be fearful. We've got to go and play our game as well, but we will be fully respectful to what a good side they are. And hopefully, like I said, that 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 brings out the best in us. So, yeah, we're gonna have to be we're gonna have to be right at it. And I say that every week because every every week brings a different challenge. And um, like I said, it's certainly one we have got to embrace, one we're looking forward to. And um, this is what this is what we play this game for. We want to test ourselves against the best. Our players want to, so um, we, we're very much looking forward to it. Um, but one, we we're going to have to be wary of a few of their threats, but also making sure we don't play with any fear. We've got to go out and express ourselves. Because of course, as well, they'll have a few well-known faces for Aldershot fans, obviously player-wise and management-wise. So friendly faces, but it all comes down to what the results end up on the pitch. Yeah, once that whistle blows, it's just full focus, everyone for for both teams. And um, yeah, look, there's always going to be players, managers who have links to the club. Um, but once that final, once that whistle starts, um, you know, all that's out the window and it's, it's full, everyone should be fully focused on the job in hand. Are you a movie shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.